cut. I'd get a bike if I were you guys. I'm going to turn the scene of the accident shortly. Yeah, Melvin and Smith are down there. Brigade's on its way. Ambulance service? Fire brigade on its way. All services notified and responding. Three. If they get a phone number when they take particulars, I'll do the fraud. They're asking too much. What are you doing here? Sorry? You do realise you're supposed to be at firearms refresher today? Yeah, well, I'm a bit pushed for time at the moment. Yeah, well, you miss it. And there goes your qualification. I'll be there. Don't worry. I'll be there. Because it's the truth. I disagree. Look, he's only been with us five minutes. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. You may think you're helping. You may think you're helping him, but you're not. Come in. Yes, Frank. The accident at Jenner Street. We've got one dead, one seriously injured, and two officers on their way to hospital. Injured? Who? Smith and Melvin. The petrol tank at the car went up as they were trying to get the people out. I'll get down there. No, I need that report completed, Bob, before you go off duty. And on the lines I recommended. But you said you were good at this. I am. Look at this. Yeah, well, how about us getting on with what we're supposed to be doing, no? Well, he's not in yet, is he? Hey, look at that. Three and one. Brilliant. Do you have any toys when you're a kid, Carver? Look, if you stand there like a wet, I don't know what, you're going to get sussed out. But all I know is he comes in here and he spends a lot of money. Yeah, what? All 50p of his pocket money. Oh, how long are we going to wait here? I don't know. Hey, look at this. This is brilliant. <laughs> 101 from Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving? Over. 101 receiving. Over. Has Turn injured person down, been you? identified? Over. I can walk. I don't need to be pushed around in this geriatric go-kart. You have got to do with your tongue. Just do as the nice man says. I don't need these plastic bags on my hands. I feel stupid. Come on, mate. Look at it this way. At least it'll stop you picking your nose. It's a bit of a mess, man. Can you discover what happened? Yeah, the, um... But that car, it came down here into the junction too quick. He skidded and lost control and went straight into the side of the trailer. Why hasn't the body been removed? Um, we thought we'd wait for you to get here first, ma'am. And the fire chief is not too happy about the way the petrol tank exploded. Fine. 
doesn't all add up, apparently. Anyway, the, uh, the sock call's on her way now to have a look. Yes, Roach, model 10, Robert Griffin. Your light. Squeeze the trigger, don't pull it, Wallace. Your shots are all going over to the right. Right, reload! The roach, I take it. In the flesh. You're late. Four minutes. Discipline and punctuality are all part of the game. Being in the right frame of mind when you're using firearms is paramount. You should know that. I thought he came round. He was going to be all right. Come on, young man. I'm in bed. Is he going to be okay? Dislocated shoulder. Doctor had to put him out to get it back. He'll be all right. But you won't. You don't do as you're told. <laughs> Viv. Well, I'm doing 170 on the street. Don't come up behind me like that, Carver. I don't know now, but you just come in. Oh. The geezer at the bar. Oh. Let me take over. It's changing. I think it's a 20 pound note. Told you, didn't I? Drugs? That's what we're here to find out. Bit rugged on the bends, aren't you? Oh, my God! What's the matter? I just hit a windsurfer. Terrific. Sting a bit, does it? Yeah, a bit. How about your Kim? Sore, I should think. You'll survive. How long are they going to keep you in, have they said? Should be out as soon as the burn specialist gets a chance to see me. Good. There's a man who's got a lot to thank you for. Been in the right place at the right time, really. It's useless. You'd be a dead man now if that had been a real terrorist, besides putting everyone else at risk. Wait till I tell you to reload. All right, lads, take an early break. Don't be back late. We've got a lot of work to cover this afternoon. Not you. We're going to work through the lunch hour. See if we can bring you up to scratch. Excuse me. Miss Fraser? Yes? Someone from your station on the telephone. Thanks. That's what I want to see from you before you leave here today. June. Would the soccer contact D.S. Andrews at the lab? A burnt out car man. I want to speak to him. There's something dodgy. What do you mean dodgy? According to Swansea. Uh, on the landline, not over the air. Uh, they took it in part in exchange and they haven't sold it. Tom? They're going to be all right. Do you want the ID informed? Let me think about this. I'll ring you back. Cheers. That's 30 quid. 
don't seem to bother me much, does it? Just hope you don't. That's what the man said. Don't bother. Prove the weapon. I haven't finished. Just do as I say. I'll help with this, nurse. Do you mind? The old park car may be stolen. Probably false plates. Really? Don't know for certain. It puts a question mark over him. Villain? Be on the safe side. I'll arrange for someone to come up here to keep an eye on him. Oh, I'm here. You'll keep you awake soon. It's not going to keep you going anywhere for a while. You weren't even trying. We all of our off days. One on target. You call it an off day. I wouldn't bother coming back if I were you. We'd just be wasting each other's valuable time. It could be they were carrying a small amount of explosives. I can't think what else would cause that amount of damage. Listen, I've got to go down to Peckham to check on this other motor. Don't forget to check the engine and chassis numbers with the logbook. Yeah, right. Oh, I'll take Les, and if Haynes comes back from the hospital, tell him I'll be on the air. I want you to go back to the hospital, keep an eye on the driver. Sorry, Mum. Burnside grabbed me as an exhibit officer. Well, get in touch with the CAD room. I want someone there urgently. Yes, Mum. By the way, I think we've got trouble. Nothing, I can assure you, that I can't handle. Thank you. Do you mind? Why didn't you call? Why should I call you? It's a traffic accident till we know different. Calm off it. You've got one burnt-out bent motor, a geezer dead, another one in hospital suspected of carrying explosives, and you don't know what you've got. I know nothing about explosives. Yeah, well, at least you had the sense not to have the body removed. What explosives? That's what the FIO reckons. You don't know for sure? It could have been a couple of villains out on a job. That's an assumption. It is a possibility we can't overlook, can we? I haven't, as you might have noticed. Your mate's out for the camp. Well, he couldn't be in better hands. Glad about that. Mind you, no, no thanks to the NHS. I've been waiting 18 months for this hip replacement. <laughs> Gotta keep up the exercises. Oi! Hurry up.
What's all that about? Well, there's your money. Now what? 227 Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving? Over. 227 receiving. Over. Could one of you go to St Agnes Hospital to mind an inpatient? We're on a job. Hang on a minute, Jane. But we can't pull out of this now. Well, I've got no idea. What? How urgent is it, Jane? The patient is unconscious. Just a minute. Would you go and whistle somewhere else? I can't hear a thing. The patient is unconscious. But they'd like you to get down there as soon as possible. Look, June, I think we can wrap this one up very quickly and then one of us can go on to the hospital. Can you send a van down here right away for J.P. Kennedy Building Supplies and that's Lipton Street. You wanted to see me, sir? Yeah, take the seat. Look, I've just had a phone call from PT-17. Ted has failed his firearm. What did he do? Shoot the instructor? Look, those instructors are no fools. Ted is an excellent shot. He failed because he wanted to fail. Perhaps it's the wrong time of the month. Why, Mike? You work closer to him than anybody. I'd leave him alone, sir. Let him work it out himself. That is not an answer. It's the only one I can give you. Go on. You know, if the brewery had an inventory, you could be on it. Yeah, we can't go on meeting like this. The old man might suspect something. Have you ever pointed a gun at anyone? No. Should I have? You just squeeze the trigger almost to the point of no return. And just a little fraction more. And you blow somebody away for good. All right, Ted. I want four bags of cement for the price of two. I have come to the right man, haven't I? Who are you talking about? Oh, well, perhaps I've got the wrong man. Hang on a minute. Who sent you? A friend. A friend. And has this friend got a name? Oh, what's in her name? What I've got is notes. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know you, do I? Could be there's something a bit iffy Look, here. suit yourself. I just thought I'd save a few quid. You cop for a few. Forget it. Hold on. Go inside, pay for two bags of cement. Bring the chitty back out to me. Look, I want a load of other stuff as well. Timber, plumbing supplies. Don't worry about it. Just go inside and get the chitty. I'll come at some range of Going public? Come on. I oh, fancied you, would you? Drop her off at the hospital, will you? Sister catches you out of bed, you'll be with the eye chump. <laughs> yeah, I speak so. Sleep at a just.
It was a check that car in Peckham and it's straight. You sure? 99% kosher. Bent motor, bit of jelly. Wonder what they were up to, eh? Doubt if we'll ever know. If we knew where they were, it might give us some idea. Big villains. And they're already being missed. You wait. In a few hours, the phones will start ringing. And they'll come to claim they're dead. Some nutcases about. All they shoot the lot of them, letting them roam the street. The man, where it's is he? Drugs, that's what it is. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, some of your plain clothes chaps took him away. <laughs> well, I thought they were your blokes. Can't tell you coppers these days. Not like the old times. And you knew where you were. 